All right, so you want to get a little confusing? Why not? So we talked about a point, right? A point has no size, but we draw a little dot for it. And we label it P, all right? So it has no size. Then we got to a line. And a line contains infinite many points, PK, but it has no thickness. The reason it has no thickness is because it's made up of points that have no, uh, um, that have no size. So then, now we're going to get to our last portion, which we're going to call a plane. And it's important for us to understand, here's a point, it has no, it has no size. A line contains infinite many points, but again has no thickness. And then a plane is a flat surface that, can, that goes on infinitely that is contained of infinite many lines. Okay, and so again, you can see that these lines, I, these lines go in actually both directions. Here, you can see that of this plane, that is going to go left and right, or of this line, it goes in these two directions. Well, of a plane, you're going to have the lines going in all sorts of directions, continuing on. So a plane is going to be a flat surface that, again, does not have any thickness. Why does it not have any thickness? Well, it's made up of lines. Lines don't have a thickness. Well, a line is made up of points, which have no size. So therefore, a plane is not going to have any thickness as well. However, it's important for you to note how are we going to label a plane. Well, a point we label with a capital letter. A line we labeled with two capital letters with the line up top to, to tell us that you know, a line is made up of our two points. Well, for a plane, all we need is three points. All we need is three points in a plane to, make a, to uh, describe our plane. So I can label my plane as P, J, K. I can label it as P, K, J. I can label it as K, P, J. And obviously, you get the point. I'm not going to go through all the combinations that, uh, that you can work with a plane. But it's just important for you to understand, by labeling three capital letters, what we've done is we have just labeled our plane. Because it, takes, it only takes three points to be able to label a plane. Um, and that's it for remember. Just remember as we have a point, a line, and now a plane. So and I hope that kind of gives you a brief introduction of how to label a plane. Thanks.